Hello and welcome to Stefans Bilderwelt. Okay, today I would like to show you how to create a drop shadow in iMovie. For this reason, I would like to put a little movie in this corner so it will look like a monitor at the end. That's not that easy to do in iMovie, but you will see there is a little workaround. So, have a look. Yes, here we are in iMovie. First of all, we need a background. So, pull the background you want to the left. And as you may recognize, they are all four seconds long. So if you need a longer background, you just drop some more of them into your timeline. Okay, then we have to look out for the main movie. So I would say I go with this one where I put the hand up to the invisible monitor. Okay, we make it as long as the background and then put in the green screen. Of course, we have to bring it to the beginning and yeah, cut it a little bit to the length. Good, as you can see, uh, there are some colors coming through. So I will correct the colors a little bit. So we have a perfect image there. Yeah, this looks good. Yep, that's it. So, okay, next thing. Uh, we need the monitor clip applied to the timeline. So I'm looking out for this. Again, eight seconds. But now the problem is in iMovie, you can only apply one effect at a time. So in this case, if I pull it down and try to put it onto the background, it doesn't work. So what I have to do now is I have to export the movie I did so far. I do this with QuickTime and in this case, uh, let's see where we put it. Ah, oh, that's the right place. So now you choose options and in the options uh, with the compression, you won't compress it too far. So we go to Apple Res and in this case, I take the middle part, but uh, you should go for high quality if you go for a better uh, film or better video. Okay, this looks good, so we export it. The problem with exporting and importing, you will lose some quality. You will see this in a second. So anyway, we go with the middle, but as I said, you should go with the high quality if you want to save a bit of the quality. Okay, now we will re-import the clip we just exported. So let's find it somewhere here. There it is, drop shadow. Okay. So of course, first we have to get rid of the clips in the timeline because we don't need them anymore. So just uh, select them and delete them. Okay, now we have to find our clip, here it is. So select the whole clip and bring it down to the timeline. Okay, as you can see now, as I said, uh, yeah, we lose some with the color, so it's, it's more red than before. So I just change some color gradients, that's fine. Okay, again, I'm looking out for the short clip, eight seconds, and bring it down to the background. Again, use the green screen. Uh, Sorry, the picture on picture, not the green screen. In this case, you need the picture on picture. Okay, bring it to the place where you want to have it. And bring it to the start, of course. Resize it if you need to. And yeah, here, that's the best place where I put up the hand. Okay, looks good. So next. Uh, just a little bit, okay. Next, press I for information, I. And now I will bring down the saturation, the color, the brightness, 
the contrast so I have a really black picture now. Okay again we have to export it and yeah there you see the reason why you should export with a high quality. Good the whole thing is exported. I removed the clips in the timeline and I do re-import the clip with the black window up there in the corner and yeah you see it's getting darker our video so we go again into information press i and change the color a bit now i select again the eight seconds of this clip and there it is bring it down onto my background again picture in picture so now i have to find the right point where the both of them come into place so the black one and the little movie yeah, I think that's it huh? yeah yeah here we go and select the movie and bring it into place resize it um, I wouldn't resize it too small so just bring it up as close as you can to the black border so it will really look like a shadow and not something you know, black behind the picture. Huh? I know that's not the best solution but that's one of the solutions and that's iMovie so you have to deal with it. Okay so the next solution would be to use keynotes instead. In keynotes you can put a movie onto a green background. I have shown this in another tutorial. And then I just press I and select the drop shadow. Make sure that you don't blur the shadow too much. If you blur it too much the green will shine through and afterwards in iMovie it is gone. One another important thing is to place the video in front so that you have it right in the place where you want to have it later on in the video. Otherwise you can't change it in iMovie so you have to think about this in front. Export it with quick times in a high quality. Okay back in iMovie just import the little clip bring it onto your background in this case I used 12 seconds now okay I have to find it all right take it onto the background oops a little bit too far so make sure you always get it right on the background here we go use the green screen again and yeah correct the color as well as you can see in my little, little movie there are some green splashes inside so those are shining through a little bit. Okay, I do the color correcting and then afterwards I have to put my uh, yeah, myself into the video again. So I have to export this one, import again and put myself into the video. Yes, that's the iMovie solution. If you want to have a better solution, you have to go for a better software like Final Cut Pro, Motion 5, After Effects or whatsoever. So if you did like the tutorial, please go for a thumb up, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you and see you again next time. Bye bye.